Listen, you don't actually suck. One of three things are probably happening though. One, you're incredibly new to the program and the world of graph design, and you don't necessarily understand how to perform basic to advanced techniques, nor do you probably understand what a great design is because it's more than just a pretty picture. Two, you fail to maintain the curiosity that once pushed you to open a design program in the first place, leaving you feeling like opening Photoshop is a task rather than an action you once loved. Or three, you're not stealing enough. Or number four. Do not forget to check out the Everything Pack. If you guys do not know what it is, all 28 of my custom-made products that you get on that one purchase, plus all future products free. Anything else in between can fall into any of these categories, but at the end of the day, if you wake up and convince yourself you suck at graph design, it's completely false. Let's say that you fall into the first category, you're new. The first thing I would like to say is welcome to the right channel. I basically documented my entire 12 year journey where you can pick your timeline and like jump right into where you can see yourself at. That's like my little flex. However, let's just say that you only know a few techniques. Now, if you don't, well, you can create a cool rim light effect by using a small 60% hardness brush with a lighter tone color and use the edge of the brush to create your first line. Then use a 30% hardness brush with a darker tone color you choose, blend mode on linear dodge add and paint the edges again. Then use a 0% hardness brush with an even darker tone color and make your brush really big to use the edge of it to create the environment rim light. Or to create easy compositions, you can build off every single time. Use a condensed font. That's not a font name. That's a style. Write a word in a nice color scheme background and text color. Add your picture or subject centered filled about 40% of the space. Then use textures or even words also known as type texture to write small context clues to the design and give it a cool feeling. Or going into camera all filter under the filter tab and click this button right here to show before and after then mess with the blacks lights shadows and under effects play with the texture and clarity in order to create a simple color correction base or taking text combining them into a smart object adding 10 gaussian blur 7 radial blur then going to your adjustments down below and choosing threshold for a simple distress text effect look if any of you said like damn i didn't know that well maybe you fall into this category and why you actually suck at design that sounds worse than it should have past knowing how to create a good design is understanding what the purpose of the design is and did you achieve it successfully Let's say it was about promoting an item. Was that item big enough? Is there even like a CTA or a click to action to even know how to get there? Things like that. What's the tone supposed to be? Is it supposed to be for a competitive game and build this like rally the troops and have like a more aggressive, stern, or ready to fight visual mentality? Who is it meant for? Is it easily understood? These are the double clicks that you get into when you actually realize what a great design is. Where if I were to list these things out, right? And having more of one of these boxes checked off, well, let's just say you also have the box look good checked. This is what I feel like what separates a beginner from an expert. Now for my curiosity has left the building people. If opening Photoshop feels like a burden, it's most likely because you know you'll be designing what you know, repeating it, and it's boring. Would you play Valorant, Minecraft, Mario, or chess if you knew exactly how the game would go each time? Like the exact same everything, probably not. It's the same thing with design. You need to be influenced with all the other topics in the world of design. I'm talking 3D, motion, illustration, branding, packaging, logos, manipulation, photography, and the 30 other things that when you double click into those things, it just keeps going. That could have been overwhelming for you, sorry. It's supposed to be fun. But look, if you don't scroll through Behance, Twitter, Instagram, sesohq.com slash moodboards, then of course you fall victim to the idea of, I don't know what to design. And it's not because you don't know what to design, but because you don't know what design can do. And realizing all it takes to learn a technique is opening the program with enough inspired ideas is enough times. Then you'll start feeling like you can't wait to design. But hold on, there is a such thing as a design block, right? Or just not having the urge some days. That's okay, it's normal. And it's also healthy to step away for a few hours, days, and sometimes weeks at a time. You can trust me on that. And now for number three, you just suck at stealing. So being a beginner around social media, you'll hear things like, you copied this guy, it looks like this, I feel like I've seen this before, those kind of comments. If you haven't got those, then you haven't even, even gotten remotely close to starting design yet, okay? I mean, maybe for the ones who at least show it on social media. But the reason is because you didn't steal like an artist. You stole like a bitch. You probably got inspired by one image, most likely, right? Probably found a similar photo they use, the same colors. And then you try to mark it as like, I did this thing. No. You mimicked another artist and maybe something better that you could have created on your own, which is perfectly fine behind closed doors to learn new ideas. But to create something original, which for the record, originality does not exist, but follow me for a second, okay? It requires multiple imagery. Sometimes multiple imagery for each specific thing, like photography, text, color, composition, etc. Then you take pieces of those things and create something new, and that's the right way to steal. You might surprise yourself if you try that and probably even learn faster than your home that you started design with on like Discord or something like that or Twitter, because you get exposed to great design every single time you create one of these boards. And then the cool thing is if you save these boards, they can just become little, little dictionaries. Dic nope, not dictionaries, not encyclopedias. Why do I try? It's just a design booklet with really fun ideas. If you clicked on this video to hope 
somehow, some way, I magically answered your 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 frustration with you suck at design. I don't think you do. I really don't. Like I said before, you haven't tried it for long enough and stuck with it because it just takes some damn time. You're just not curious enough, which is just, it's just a little fault. Just go open be hands or something. And then three, you just again suck at stealing. After you exit this video, and it's just like a tiny bit quiet, and you just hear like the humming of your PC, and you're wondering what did I just watch? Just take comfort in the fact that I think you're doing a fantastic job and being great just takes some time. If you guys for some reason have not picked up the everything pack, be sure to check it out. It's over here. All that good stuff. Sesso HQ out. Never forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking proud of guys. That much love. Peace. Enjoy your day. And uh, yeah, you don't suck.